Amen. Shabbat shalom, brothers and sisters. What a beautiful season we're entering into. We'd like to thank Hashem first and foremost for this day, for the weather, for the blessings, for the lessons, and everything else that He has chosen to bestow upon us this season. We thank you, Lord. With that being said, we're going to open with our observance today. Please all rise as we start with Scripture. We'll be reading from Romans chapter 11, verse 17. But if some of the branches were broken off, and you being a wild olive, were grafted in among them, and became a partaker of the root, with its richness, do not boast against the branches. For if you do boast, it is not you who supports the root, but rather the root who supports you. Father God, let us not boast or neglect in our obligations or in the things that you have placed as good for us. But let us be mindful to take part in these practices, these observances that are all meant for our well-being. Father God, we ask that you bless all those who are here today's service, all those who are here physically, and those brothers and sisters who aren't quite here yet. We ask that your hand be over them, that you bless them, and that you guide them each and every day this season. We ask this in Yeshua's name, and the people of God say, Amen. Amen. Shalom, everyone. And what to expect today? We read the Torah scroll, the first five books of the Holy Scripture, over one full year, each week having its own reading. We are a multilingual congregation using English, Hebrew, and Spanish. The prayers and blessings are led by our cantoral team. Many parts are interactive. We all worship together. Traditional greetings are Shabbat Shalom or Good Shabbos, which means may you have a peaceful Sabbath. And blowing of the shofar is a call to assembly and worship to please stand if possible as those trains of shofar come from. Then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in the sky. All the tribes of the land will mourn and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with tremendous power and glory, he will send out his angels with a great shofar. And they will gather together his chosen people from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. Amen. Blessed be you, O Lord, our God, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments and commanded us to hear the call of the shofar. Amen. many traditional blessings we have a renewed covenant blessing thanking God for giving us the way to salvation in our Messiah Yeshua Yeshua walked among us filled with your spirit the only one who ever fulfilled your Torah he healed the sick and raised the dead the multitudes of our people sought his touch he taught as no man taught 
With authority, he brought forth the treasures of the Torah. How the children sought him, the lepers he touched and made clean. How the despised and outcast found love and release from their sin. How the hypocrites feared him, whose words uncovered their sin. Despised and rejected, acquainted with grief, he bore the sins of Israel. All we like sheep have gone astray, turned everyone to his own way. Our iniquities laid upon the king, the sins of the world his burden to bear. He rose from the dead and opened the way to life everlasting. Praise his name, we are in him. His spirit empowers. New life is ours with joy and peace. Blessed are you, O Lord, our God, who has given us Messiah Yeshua, our King. Blessed are you, O Lord, our God, King of the universe, who has given us the way of salvation in Messiah Yeshua. Blessed is he. Amen. And please join me for the motto Ma Motto joy to Adonai. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. Let us shout joyfully to him with songs. For Adonai is a great God and great King above all gods. Blessed be his name. Amen.
of Shabbat we receive. Observe and remember the Sabbath day, the only God caused us to hear in a single utterance. The Lord is one and his name is one, for his renown, his splendor, and his praise. Come, my beloved, to welcome the bride, the presence of Shabbat we receive. Come, my beloved, shake off the dust, arise, dress in garments of glory, my people, who the son of Jesse the Bethlehemite, redemption draws near to my soul. Come, my beloved, wake up, wake up, for your light has come. Awaken, awaken, sing a song, for the glory of the Lord is revealed to you. Come, my beloved. <clears throat> uh, please remain standing as we continue with the Amidah, the standing prayer. 
Adonai sefatai tifta ufia kitehilatecha. My Lord, open my lips and my mouth may declare your praise. Blessed are you, Lord our God, the God of our forefathers, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Yaakov, the great, mighty, and awesome God, the supreme God, who bestows beneficial kindnesses and creates everything, who recalls the kindness of the patriarchs and brings a redeemer to their children's children for his name's sake with love. O King, helper, Savior, and shield, blessed are you, O Lord, shield of Abraham. You are eternally mighty, my Lord, the one who restores life from the grave, greatly able to save. He sustains the living with kindness, revives the dead with abundant mercy, supports the fallen, heals the sick, releases the confined, and maintains his faith to those who sleep in the dust. Who is like you, O master of mighty deeds, and who is comparable to you, O king, who causes death and restores life and makes salvation sprout? And you are faithful to bring back life to the dead. Blessed are you, O Lord, who revives the dead. You are holy, and your name is holy, and holy ones praise you every day forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the Holy God. And please join me for hope. Oh, do la dona kito. for in Kelohenu or um, there's none like our God. <clears throat> King, and there is none like our deliverer. Who is like our God? Who is like our Lord? Who is like our King? And who is like our deliverer? Let us give thanks to our God. Let us give thanks to our Lord. Let us give thanks to our King. And let us give thanks to our deliverer. Blessed be our God. Blessed be our Lord. Blessed be our King. And blessed be our deliverer. For you are our God. You are our Lord. You are our King. And you are our deliverer. <coughs> Um, at this time, if you're not already and you're able, please uh, rise and join me in facing east in the direction of Jerusalem as we cover eyes in humility before Hashem and the Shem. <coughs> Shema Israel Adonai.
אחד אי אדוני אלוהיך, וכל אלוהיך וכל נפשך וכל מילותיך, והיו הדברים האלה, אשר אני מצבך היום על אביביך, ושירת שם לבניך, ודיברת בם בשבתך בביתך, ובלעתך ודרק ומשק בך ובקומך, ושאתה מלאות עייתך, והיו לה תתופות בין עיניך, ובתתם ומסוסות ביתך ובישריך. Here is Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord is one. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. And these words that I command you this day shall be upon your heart. And you shall teach them diligently to your children, and speak of them when you sit at home, and when you walk along the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise up. And you shall bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be for frontless between your eyes, and you shall write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. And you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The entire Torah and the prophets hang on these two commandments. <coughs> uh, please um, join me for the Alenu, uh, which means it is our duty. Alenu, let's <coughs> be praise the master of all to ascribe greatness to the author of creation for he made us unlike the nations of the lands it has not placed us like the families of the earth he has not made our portion like theirs and our lot like all their multitudes and we bend the knee and bow and acknowledge our thanks before the king over kings the holy one blessed be he he stretches out heaven and establishes earth's foundation the seat of his glory is in the heavens above in the presence of his powers in the most exalted heights he is our god there is none other true is our king there is nothing beside him as it is written in his Torah. And you shall know this day and take to heart that the Lord, he is God. In the heavens above and on the earth below, there is none other. And it is said, the Lord shall be king over all the world. On that day, the Lord will be one and his name one.
Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Good Shabbos. Okay, next is uh, Adon Olam. And it goes like this. It's a, it's a this thousand year old traditional hymn glorifies the supremacy of God, His omnipotence, and His providence. Adon Olam Masher Malach Beteren Kol Itzi Nira Let not Sah Behet Sokol Asai Melech Shemonika Beachare Kilochakol Lebado Yimloch Nora Behu Kaya, Behu Kowe, Behu Yee, Betty Fara, Behu Eka, Behen Shani, Leham Shilo, Lehabira, Beli Reshi, Beli Tahli, Belo Haos. Beha Misra Behu Eli Beha Iguali Betsu Kelly Bet Sara Behu Misi Umanos Lee Menakosi Beyomikra Beyado Afkiruhi Bet Ishan, Beakira, Beimuhi, Geviati, Adonai, Li, Belo, Ira. Master of the universe, who reigned before any form was created, when creation came about by his will, then as a king was his name proclaimed to be and after all has ceased to be he alone will reign in awesomeness and he was and he is and shall be eternally in splendor and his first and there is no second to compare to him to be his equal without beginning and without end his his, his is the power and dominion and he is my god my living redeemer and the rock of my pain in times of trouble. And he is my banner and a refuge for me, the portion of my cup in the day I call upon him. In his hands I entrust my spirit in the time I sleep or am awake. And with my spirit, my body, the Lord is with me and I shall not fear. Wow, and that wakes you up. <laughs> and that's a powerful prayer. Uh, next is uh, excuse me. I need to refer to this. <laughs> Okay, next uh, prayer will be Kadosh Hayom, Holiness of the Day. Moshe rejoiced in the gift of his portion, that you, that you call him a faithful servant, a crown of splendor you placed on his head when he stood before you on Mount Sinai. He brought down two stone tablets in his hand, on which is inscribed the observance of the Shabbat. So it is written in your Torah. Beshamru bene Israel, et had shaba, helat so, et had shaba, le dorotan berit olam. Beshamru bene Israel, et had shaba, helat so, et had shaba, le dorotan berit olam. Bene rain, 
Bene Israel, Bene Israel, Oti Hiel Olam, Beshamru Bene Israel, Eh Hashaba, Eh Latso, Eh Hashaba, Ledoratam Berit Olam, Kishet Yamin, Asadonai, Asadonai, Et Hashamayim Bet Haaretz Beshamru Bene Israel Et Hashaba Helatso Et Hashaba Ledorotam Berit Olam Ubayim Hashbi I Shabbat Bay Nafash Shabbat Bay Nafash Shabbat Bai nafash, Besham Ruben Israel, Et Hashaba, Elatso, Et Hashaba, Ledorotam Beri Olam, Besham Ruben Israel, Et Hashaba, Elatso, E hashaba le dorotam beri olam. The children of Israel shall keep the Shabbat, observing it through their generations as an everlasting covenant. It is a sign between me and the children of Israel, forever. For in six days the Lord had, the Lord made the heavens and the earth, and on the seventh day He rested and washed, refreshed. Shemot. 3116. If you will excuse me, I Next is Alia. Tamon Mal. Please excuse me. Ta. Excuse me. You did great, Dad. Ta'amud, Malka bat la Torah. Come forward, Malka, daughter of Sarah, to the Torah. There is none like you, O Lord, among the gods that are worshipped, and there are no deeds like yours. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and your dominion endures through all generations. Source of mercy, let your goodness be a blessing to Zion. Let Jerusalem be rebuilt. In you alone do we trust. O sovereign God, high and exalted, Lord of all the worlds. And it came to pass, whenever the ark went forth, Moshe would say, Rise up, Lord, and scatter your enemies. And may those who hate you run from you. Torah will go forth out of Zion, and let and the Lord's word from Jerusalem. Blessed is he who in his holiness gave Torah to his people Israel. Moshe Kuma Adonai. Vea futsu oveja, vea nusu masaneja, mi paneja. Ki metzion te tse tora, ki metzion te tse tora, udeva adonai. Miyarushalayim Baruch Shenetan Torah Torah 
Baruch Shenetan Torah Torah Leamo Yisrael Big Dushato Bless the Lord, the Blessed One. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who has chosen us from all people and given us his Torah. Blessed are you, O Lord. This, this week's parasha, the Haloteha, which is from Numbers 8, 1 to 12, 15. Today's readings will be Numbers 11, 30 to 12, 16, and Hebrew 8, 1 to 4. Vayedaber Adonai el Moshe Lemor, Daber el Aharon. Veamarta elu, vejaloteja et, anerot el mu. 
Benet, Kamenaru, Yairu, Shabit, Hanaru, Vaish, Benet, Aharon, El, Mu, Benet, Kamenara, Hailu, Neru, Kaiser, Ziva, Adonai et Moshe, Vaese, Maese, Hamenura, Miksha, Ziva, Ad, Yareka, Ad, Pirha, Miksha, Uh, he camera Asher Hairu Adonai et Moshe Ken Aser et Hamenora Amen Adonai spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to Aharon, and said to him, When you erect the lamps, the seven lamps are to illuminate the area in front of the menorah. Aharon did so. He erected the lamps facing forward, so they illuminated the area in front of the menorah, just as Adonai had commanded Moshe. Now this is how the menorah was made. Hammered gold from its base to its blossoms, just as was the pattern that Adonai showed to Moshe. So he made a memoir. Amen. Then Moshe and the elders of Israel returned to the camp. Now a wind went out from Adonai and drove quails from the sea. He brought them into the camp to about a day journey in a direction about two cubits above the ground all around the camp. The people went out all the day and that all night and all the following day and collected quail. No one gathered less than 10 omers. They spread them out all around the camp. Yet, while the meat was between their teeth, before it was swallowed, Adonai's anger burned against the people. So Adonai struck the people with a severe plague. For that reason, the name of that place was called Kibroth Hatab, because they buried the people who were craving. From Kibroth Hatab, the people journeyed to Hazeroth and stay in Hazeroth. Then Miriam and Aharon spoke against Moshe on account of the Cushite woman he married, because he had married a Cushite woman. They asked, Has Adonai spoken only through Moshe? Hasn't he also spoken through us? Adonai heard it. Now, the man Moshe was very humble, for so that anyone on the face of the earth. Immediately Adonai said to Moshe, Aharon, and Miriam, the three of you, come out of the tent of meeting. So the three came out. Adonai descending a column of cloud, stood at the entrance of the tent of meeting, and called to Aharon and Miriam. The two of them stepped forward. Hear now my words, he said. When there is a prophet of Anodai, I reveal myself in a vision. I speak to him in a dream. Not so with my servant Moshe. In all my house, he is faithful. I speak with him face to face, plainly and not in riddles. He even looks at the form of Adonai. Why then were you not afraid to speak against my servant Moshe? Adonai's anger burned against them, and he left them. When the cloud lifted up from above the tent, behold, Miriam had Sarat like snow as Aharon turned towards her. Behold, she had Sarat. He said to Moshe, Please, my Lord, don't hold against us the sin we have committed so foolishly. Don't let her be like a stillborn baby who comes from his mother's womb with his flesh half eaten away. Amen. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Ashenatalano Torah emet, 
בחיי עולם נתה בתוכנו. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who has given us a Torah of truth and has planted, in never life, it has planted eternal life in our midst. Blessed you, O Lord. Amen. Amen. As I have, you know, we always uh, look at this parashat as, you know, complaining, jealousy, Miriam, Aharon. But something interesting in here is that the first verses it speaks about the light torah menorah you know and uh and our heavenly father he is our light he sent us his light here and uh some of the reasons we see that why further up it happened what it happened with you know the complaints and all of that is because the light was not with them it was not in their heart as we have that light in, in our heart, which is our Lord Yeshua. We actually will read it in John 8, 12. And Yeshua spoke to them again. And he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will no longer walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Then on John, it keeps going on John 12, 44. And it says, Then Yeshua cried out, Whoever believes in me does not believe in me only, but in the one who sent me. I have come into the world as light, so that no one who believes in me should be in darkness. So as we hear we saying that the one that sends him is the light. So therefore, you know, is we are to be to take this light to everyone. That our the salvation of our Lord Yeshua, what our Heavenly Father has done for us. We don't have to complain. We don't have to be jealous. We don't have to, you know, think of others that we are better. If we have the light in us, if we have our Lord Yeshua in us, we have his word in us, all of that. Yes, we're going to be tempted. That's unfortunate that it's, he is there to do that. But it's up to us to say, you know what? I submit to God. I submit to Hashem. I and if we submit to him, he has to flee. He has no right. He has no authority over us, over our thoughts, and over our life. So, yes, and then Hashem, he promised. As he promised to the children of Israel that he would take care of them. And he took care of them. Amen. Providing all the time. Providing manna. Do we know who it is? No, we don't. But I'm pretty sure it was very good. He promised to take them to the, to the place of honey and milk like i love milk i love honey even with extra protein <laughs> so that's something that my sister said but you know we have yeshua we will not go through that and then of course we have there's a lot a lot of verses that he speaks of yeshua as the light of the world we have in act chapter 3 verse 13 uh, i mean act 3 verse 13 to 47 and 48 for the lord has commanded us saying I have made you a light, we are that light, for the Gentiles, that you may bring salvation to the ends of the earth. And when the Gentiles heard this, they began rejoicing and glorifying the word of the Lord, and as we were appointed to eternal life. So that's what we're supposed to do. Here we have it, to bring that light to the ends of the world, to everyone, to our neighbors, to our families to our brothers, to our sisters, to anyone that we know that doesn't have that light. Thank you. Please rise up for the besot. And we point to the Torah with a little finger, knowing that we have a great and mighty and awesome Heavenly Father that is all over us and taking care of us. Besod HaTorah, Asher Samoshe, Levne Bine Israel Abi Adonai, Rehad Moshe. And this is the Torah that Moshe placed before the children of Israel at the command of the Lord through Moshe's hand.
You may be seated. The Haftarah blessing. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bachar Bin Bim Tovim Beratza Betiburahem Haneemarim Bemet Baruch Atah Adonai Haboker Batorah Uv Moshe Avdo, Uv Yisrael Amo, Uvim Vie Haemet Batzedek. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who selected good prophets and was pleased with their words, which were spoken truthfully. Blessed are you, O Lord, who chooses a Torah, your servant Moshe, your people Israel, and prophets of truth and righteousness. Today's reading is Zechariah 2, 14 through 4, 7. Sing and rejoice, O daughter of Zion, for behold, I am coming and I will live among you. It is a declaration of Adonai. In that day, many nations will join themselves to Adonai and they will be my people and I will dwell among you. Then you will know that Adonai Zavaot has sent me to you. Adonai will inherit Judah as his portion in the Holy Land and will once again choose Jerusalem. Be silent before Adonai, all flesh, for he has roused himself from his holy dwelling. Then he showed me Joshua, the Kohen Gadol, standing before the angel of Adonai and the Satan, standing at his right hand to accuse him. Adonai said to the Satan, Adonai rebukes you, the Satan. Indeed, Adonai, who has chosen Jerusalem, rebukes you. Is not this man a brand plucked out of the fire? Now Joshua was wearing filthy garments and standing before the angel who answered and spoke to those standing before him, saying, Remove the filthy garments from him. Then to Joshua he said, See, I have removed your iniquity from you and will dress you with fine clothing. Then I said, Place a clean turban on his head. So they put a pure turban on his head and clothed him with garments, while the angel of Adonai stood by. The angel of Adonai exhorted Joshua, saying, Thus says Adonai Zavot, If you will walk in my ways and keep my charge, then you will judge my house and watch over my courts, and I will give you a place to walk among these standing here. Listen well, Joshua Kohen Gadol, both you and your companions seated before you because they are men who are a sign. Behold, I will bring forth my servant, the branch. For behold, the stone I have laid before Joshua is one stone with seven facets. On it I will engrave an inscription, declares Adonai Zavuot, that I will remove the iniquity of this land in one day. In that day, declares Adonai Zavuot, every man will invite his neighbor to sit under the vine and under the fig tree. Then the angel who had been speaking with me returned and woke me, like a man who has wakened from his sleep. He asked me, what do you see? I replied, behold, I see a solid gold manure with its bowl at the top of it, and its seven lamps on it with seven pipes for the lamps that are on the top of it. Also, two olive trees are by it, one on the right side of the bowl and the other on the left side of it. Then I responded by saying to the angel speaking with me, What are these, my Lord? The angel who spoke with me responded by asking me, You do not know what these are? I replied, No, my Lord. Then he responded to me by saying, This is the word of Ananai to Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might, nor by power, but by my Ruach, says Adonai Zavaot. What are you, great mountain? Before Zerubbabel, you will become a plain. He will bring out the capstone with shouts of grace, grace to it. Amen. Baruch atadunai Eloheinu melech haolam Sur kol haolamin Zadik bekol hadorot 
Ha'el ha'neiman, ha'omer bilsei, ham de berum kayem, shekol de barav emet batzedek. Neiman atahu adonai eloheinu, v'neimanim devareka, v'davar echad midvareka, akur lo yashuv rekam. Ki el melek neiman, v'rakaman ata, baruch ata adonai, Ha el haneeman beko debara. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, Rock of all eternities, faithful in all generations, the trustworthy God who says and does, who speaks and makes it come to pass, all of whose words are true and righteous. Faithful are you, O Lord our God, and faithful are your words, for not one word of yours is turned back unfulfilled. For you are a faithful and compassionate God and King. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, the God who is faithful in all of his words. Amen. And for the Greek Hadasha. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Natan Lanu Moshiach Yeshua Ved Haibrot Shel Habri Chadasha Habri Chadasha Baruch Atah Adonai Noten Habri Chadasha Amen Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who has given us Messiah Yeshua and the commandments of the renewed covenant. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, giver of the renewed covenant. Today's reading is Matthew chapter 14, verse 14 through 21. As Yeshua came ashore, he saw a large crowd and felt compassion for them and healed their sick. When it, came, when it became evening, the disciples came to him, saying, This place is isolated, and the hour is already late. Send the crowds away so they can go into the villages and buy food for themselves. But Yeshua said to them, They don't need to leave. You give them something to eat. We have nothing here except five loaves and two fish, they said to him. Bring them here to me he said. Ordering the crowd to recline on the grass, he took the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven, he offered the bracha. After breaking the loaves, he gave them to the disciples and the disciples gave them to their crowds, to the crowds. They all ate and were satisfied and the disciples picked up 12 baskets full of broken pieces left over. Now those eating were about 5,000 men, besides women and children. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher natan lanu hadeva ha'emet, vechaye olam nata betocheinu. Baruch atah Adonai, no ten ha brit ha kadasha. Amen. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who has given us the word of truth and has planted life everlasting in our midst. Blessed are you, O Lord, giver of the renewed covenant. Amen. Now for the returning of the Torah. Get up, boys, get up. It's the Torah. Et chayim hi la vetom hecha meushar derachecha 
Shalom Ashivenu Adonai Elecha Venashuva Chadesh Chadesh Yameinu Chadesh Yameinu It is a tree of life to those who take hold of her, and all who support her are praiseworthy. Its ways are ways of pleasantness, and all its paths are peace. Return us, O Lord, to you, and we shall return. Renew our days as in uh, the days of old. May he who blessed our forefathers, Abraham, Yitzhak, Yaakov, bless those who come to honor God and the Torah. May the Holy One send blessings upon them and upon their families, and upon all the works of their hands. Amen. May our eyes behold your return to Zion in compassion. Blessed are you, O Lord, who restores his presence to Zion. Grant peace, goodness, and blessing, grace, kindness, and mercy to us and to all your people, Israel. Bless us, our Father, all of us together through the light of your presence. Truly, the light of your presence, Adonai, our God, you gave us a Torah of life, love of kindness, justice and blessing, mercy, life and peace. May you see fit to bless your people, Israel, at all times, at every hour, with your peace, Shabbat Shuvah. Inscribe us for life, blessing, peace and prosperity, remembering all your people, Israel, for life and peace. Blessed are you, Adonai, source of peace. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable before you. Adonai, my rock, my redeemer. Shabbat shalom.
I'm not trying to have any of our kids or our elders. Push it over there so I get to see you. Yeah, but that heat and humidity. Did y'all get that thing, sir? For sure? On your SUV? Oh, it's with the mechanics right now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we, we had to take take it. The guy, the guy over here, the one you ha we had the van. Yeah. So that's another thing. <clears throat> All right. Well. <laughs> I knew that. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right. Those of you watching online, we do apologize if you caught some of our combo, uh, but that's okay. We we have nothing to uh, keep secret, right? So, with that being said, we're going to go right into the next phase of our worship of our king with the, with the tithing and the offering. No, it's right here. So, with that being said, uh, let's see, Brother Philip. Go ahead and come pray for the tithes and offerings, sir. Thank you. Got a little feedback. Um, Father God, we just uh, we come before you with in humbleness and gratefulness for everything you give to us. Lord, we ask that you take this offering that we give to you with grateful hearts and open hearts as we give of our abundance, Lord. We ask that you multiply this offering 10, 20, a thousand fold, Lord, that we may use our gift that we give, that you may use it to glorify yourself and also, Lord, to reach others. We just pray for those who don't know you, Lord. We just ask that you reveal yourself to them. And Lord, we just thank you and love you so much for all the things you do in our lives. I pray all this in your son's holy name, Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen. 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 Those of you watching online, the uh, link will be put in the comment section below. Well, I'm super excited for this coming season and all the things that it will bring. Um, yesterday we had the privilege of spending Arab Shabbos with another ministry and it was such a wonderful blessing for us, for the dancers and for everybody there. I cannot thank Hashem enough for that experience. I pray that His hand blesses all the ministries that were involved 100%. But it brought to mind, when we first started, Robitson and I and a, and, a, and a couple of other really fun people. Uh, it, real quick, uh, the Yeladim class, Isaiah, you and your sister, y'all are going to go with Sister Malka here, okay, for class. Isaiah, it's great to see you, buddy. I missed you. Thank you. All right. So it brought to mind that me and the me and this first group of people that when we started, we used to do stuff like drive through prayer, right? We would literally set up on the side of the road, hold out signs, people want to pray, they they would pull in, we pray for them. It didn't matter who they were or what they were going through, we pray. We do that, we go to the bus stations and different college campuses and put out flyers and information about the synagogue each and every week. And so it kind of, you know, rekindled some things within me. Let, let's get, there's no reason why we shouldn't be doing these things today, right? Amen. Especially today where more people are even broken and more people are displaced and more people are confused by the different messages that our government is sending them. But let's go ahead and get right into the Word today, amen? Amen. All right. 
Shabbat Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shabbat Shalom. All right. Sister, it's good to see you back. I'm glad you didn't let, let him make you stay home. Good on you for coming out. All right. <laughs> now let's go ahead and get right into it. Hey, hey, hey. Who's the head of the house? Who's the head? All right, there you go. Let's go right on into the today's set, uh, lesson. Amen? So let's have some fun. I want you all to say this phrase with me. She. 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 Yavo. Yavo. Again, she. she. Yavo. Yavo. So in it, it it's, it's a, a philosophy or, or an understanding. But the, the concept goes like this. In the midst of any dark situation, there's always light coming to redeem. Faith is never lost yet. So long as we hold firmly that our Messiah is and will come soon. Thank you. So this is what that saying means. So when we say it, Sheyavo, we're saying, no, we know that God is coming. We know that his kingdom is moving. We know that he is still on the throne. Amen? Amen. So just as Hashem has been faithful in our lives and keeps his promises, we also keep our promise that we are going to be faithful. Amen? Oh, it looks like, yeah. All right, let's move on. Becha lotecha. The Torah portion of this week begins with a command for Aharon to kindle the menorah in the sanctuary. The menorah itself symbolizes our people. The purpose of every single Jew in existence is to spread divine light throughout the world. As it is written, the soul of man is, a, is the lamp of God. With the light of Torah and the candle of mitzvot, we illuminate our surrounding environments. Does that make sense to everybody? Yes? No? No? Okay, I'll break it a little further down, okay? So, the menorah that we light is literally a picture of our faith in our people. With all of the goodness coming from God Himself and from His Word. With the light of the Torah and the candle of mitzvot, we illuminate our surroundings. Does that make sense? Every time we do or set our hands and our hearts to do goodness, we enlighten the environment around us. Amen? In Matthew chapter 14 and verse 29, Yeshua said, Come. And I'm going to pause there just briefly. And I, I don't want you to tell me the exact day or the exact time or the exact moment or any of that stuff. But how many times from some form of clerical, I'm sorry, from some sort, some, from some form of clergy, whether it be somebody that's online, somebody that you've passed along the way but how many times have you in your own lifetime heard God ask you to come on is it just once but every time you you pass a channel that has a message of God you hear the same message come into the kingdom every time you pass a street preacher preacher they're talking about repentance and returning to God Every time you enter into a church, they're talking about returning to God. Every time you enter a synagogue, they're talking about returning to God. And yet, we have to ask again, how many times have we called upon Hashem, and yet, as the waves that surround our life keep us bound and distracted by what they are 
And all because, yes, yes, you tried once. You tried one time in your life and it didn't go so well, so you quit. Right? It's like when you decide to be kind to somebody. And right away, the first person you're kind to snaps at you. And you think in your head, well, you know what? I'm done with this being nice stuff. I tried it. I got my hand bit. I'm not doing this no more. Or better yet, right? People come. And we put trust in them. We put faith in them. We put belief and love in them. And so the question goes right back. Okay, yes, you've done this, and yes, you got, you got your fingers bit. Yes, you, you, know, you went and you did a kindness, and the person didn't react the way you hoped they would. They didn't say, oh, thank you, Lord, that you sent this wonderful Zadik to help me. They didn't say this to you. So it discourages you. But the question then begins, how many lashes did Yeshua take for you? How many lashes do you think Yeshua took for you? You personally? A lot? How, how, about, how about you, brother? How many lashes do you think Yeshua took for you? At least, right? At least. Think he took a few for you guys back there? A few? How about you, young lady? Okay. So, if Yeshua has taken our lashes, and yet we repeatedly or better yet, how far from his purpose do you think your life is right now? That's a better question. How far from his purpose do you think your life is right now? And I'm not talking his as in your boyfriend, your honey, your boo-boo, or whatever that is. But his as in Hashem. How far do you think you are from Hashem's purpose for your life? Inches? Miles? Days? Weeks? Years? Lifetimes? That's a good question, right? Let me go on. In James 1, in verse 6, the person must ask in faith without doubt, because if he doubts, like a wave of the sea, he will be tossed and blown around by the wind. So this is what happens. We have the two pictures of the sea right there in the two verses. And one is, is a blessing that covers you. The other one is something that beats you and sends you away. But let me go on. And Peter goes out of the boat and walks on the water and go, went, goes to Yeshua. But the minute that he sets his focus upon the wind, upon the waves, and upon everything that was terrifying to him, he began to sink and cried out, saying, Master, save me. And immediately Yeshua reached out his hand and grabbed him and said, O oh, you of little faith. So we say that, that phrase in the beginning, Sheavo. And, and it's kind of a, a thing I'm hoping to inspire within you guys. That no matter what waves or what storms are headed your way, or what things are popping off in your life, that you will be able to hold on to that God is still on the throne, that the Messiah is still on his way, and that God still answers prayers and heals people every day. If you have that assurance that God is still with you, and that even on the journey to your Egypt, he's right there with you, then it'll make the challenges
a little bit easier to navigate. But let me go on. How many times have we told a friend something about another person or made a negative statement about someone out loud? This sort of behavior tends to be a common occurrence in every synagogue and church around the globe. So let me go on. One person hears something positive or negative about another and then passes the information on to someone else without any facts. The problem with that is that the more we share our opinions about other people freely without thinking of the effects of our comments is an opinion a fact yes or no simple just yes or no just yes or no that's it is opinion and opinion a fact is it a fact all right next is it a fact no it's a fact is it a fact what is an actual opinion is it a fact what is an actual opinion? Is it a fact? No. What's a fact? Factual information. Factual information that can be substantiated, right? By, by evidence, right? This is a fact. It can be substantiated by evidence. This makes it a truth. Okay? So it can be established. Uh, esta Say it again, Leo. It, it can be what? Right, with evidence, right? This makes it a truth. So we've established clearly that opinions are not generally truthful or factual. They're just opinions, what you prefer. Some people prefer drinks with ice. Others prefer, prefer no ice. And as odd as, as it is here in Texas, I've met people who drink beverages with no ice at all, which is still slightly disturbing for me. But let me move on. Try not to overcomplicate your life by overthinking things. Look for the facts and the evidence. Praise Hashem and serve Him. <clears throat> and keep from negative opinions. For these will only hinder any light that is shining from us on our path. And it becomes weighty and unclear. Doubt and unguarded words, opinions will do just this. They will begin to wreak havoc upon your life and upon the people that you care most about. All the while while doing the Yetzer's bidding. The menorah extends up with seven beautiful branches, which each symbolize the different paths of divine service. Rav Shaul, the Apostle Paul, goes over some of these in his letter to Ephesians in chapter 4, verse 11. He gave some to be emissaries some as prophets and some as proclaimers of the good news and some as pastors and some as rabbis to equip the Kedushim for the work of service, for the building up of the body of Messiah. This will continue until we come to the unity of faith and to the knowledge of Ben Elohim, to matured adulthood, to measure the stature of Messiah's fullness. As a result, we are no longer to conduct ourselves as children, tossed around by every kind of teaching, by the trickery of men and the cunning and deceitful scheming. Instead, speak the truth in love. We are to grow up in all ways in Messiah who is the head, 
Amen? The light on the Torah is a symbol of the holiness, of meaningful moments, our traditions and our rituals associated with light, such as lighting the Shabbos candles, the Havdalah candle, and the Hanukkah, can lead us daily to live holy lives. How do we begin to do that? Live holy lives daily. Is it, is it cutting the Harada out of our lives? That'd probably be a really great way, right? Is it cutting complaining out of our lives? Yes, that'd also probably help a whole lot. <laughs> but it, it's very basically, if this whole thing is holy, right? And each one of these days, rep, each one of these represent a day, then what does that make each of the days? Holy, yeah. So we should treat each day as the gift that it is. Amen? That it also is holy because it's purposed. In Numbers, the menorah mentioned there contains the seven lamps. Similarly, our souls contain our days, our life, and our times, which also have seven per week. Just as the light lighting the seven lamps illuminates the menorah so living as if each of the seven days of the week were a gift from God and it begins to lighten our soul we can see from the verse in Numbers and I'll be quoting the verse when you treat each of the seven days of the week as holy you will ignite your soul. This is what scripture says. If you treat each day as a gift from God, it will begin to build that zeal, that fire within your soul. Hi guys, good to see y'all. It's okay. Each of us finds this illumination in a personal way. Some get mentored by people as they're walking along in faith. Some is through study. But through the many ways that God causes us to be illuminated for his purpose, but let, let me move on. So we are taught to have faith in God and to have sufficiency in consciousness. This Parsha helps to appreciate our blessings and to make the most of the opportunities that he presents to us. In our consciousness, we can light each day and the light of each day will light our souls then we will be able to fulfill a modern Jewish expression of the ancient commandment, when you light the lamps, the seven lamps shall illuminate the menorah. So when we take time to honor God in each of the seven days, then God will cause His goodness to shine in each of our seven days. Does that make sense? It's pretty simple, right? Include him, and he'll, he'll include us. Sounds simple enough. It would be nice to be included, wouldn't it? Let's go on. Actually, I'll be closing soon. Sorry. Uh, Y'all going to learn one more Hebrew phrase, okay? You're going to learn one more. Y'all okay with that? All right. All right, yeah, I say, Lador. Lador, Vador, okay, Nagid, Godlecha. Uh, let's try it again. Lador, Vador, Nagid, Godlecha. Okay, Lador, Vador, Nagid. Who knows the last word? Ah, there you go. Y'all did it perfectly. 
All right, so in English, very, very loosely, extremely loosely, okay? It means from generation to generation, we will take up the responsibility of praising you and your great name. And so this is part of our, our, our tradition, right? Is that we as people, we raise up, we begin to follow God and begin to walk in His blessing and His pr providence, following His guidance. And as we do, we raise our children up and we teach them what we have discovered and what we have been enlightened to. Amen? And then, we, then our children teach their children. Their te then their children te teach their children. And all the while, they're talking about the Zadik in our family named Leo, who, who didn't lose the faith. Or the Zadik named Henry, who didn't lose the faith. Or the Zadik named James, who didn't lose the faith. But he kept on fighting the good fight of faith. And he saw the race through for the Lord. And everybody could see the Lord's hand was upon this brother's life. This is what they'll see. If we take the time to honor God every day, His hand will be clearly and distinctly upon your life. So this legacy of hope and promise that we carry, that has been passed on to us, from Moshe to Joshua to all the way down the line through the prophets, through Yeshua, through the disciples, through the pastors, through the rabbis. And here we are in our time and season. Carrying this legacy of faith, of hope, of promise. Just as we are called to praise our King and being like His Son, I challenge you to pass a legacy of praise on to the next generation. That way praise will be on their lips day and night. And praise will be on their lips through the troubles and the victories. That way praise will rule their day and their night. So far in this world, in this time, we have given far too much ground over to every kind of thought and persuasion possibly imagined. So it's time that we stand up, rise up, and take back God's territories. And it's not us physically doing it. It's us praising Him as He does it. Amen? So let me ask y'all one final question. What does scripture say is good and, and pleasing unto the Lord? There's really only two things that he mentions. All right, here, let me say this. Way. What does Yeshua say? What does Yeshua say is most value to God? We'll go with that question first. What's most value to God? Y'all don't know with the, without the intro question to it? Which is more important to God, sacrifice or? Huh? Starts with an O. Ends with an E. Yeah. Obedience, right? Thank you, sister. You helped those brothers out. We appreciate it. Thank you. So what does God value most? Obedience. Okay. And then, what else does he, what, what, what was the flood all about? Because it was something significant. What were we doing to each other that wasn't, that upset God so much? Huh? We were hurting each other. We were abusing each other, right? So when we love each other, and when we're obedient to God, He's with us. But when we behave, like entitled, spoiled, little children. Or when we behave like, like disgruntled, disobedient children. Plant the seeds in your life that you hope to grow.
Amen? Plant the seeds in your life that you hope to grow. That we should treat each other with hesed. This is most important. And hesed is, is, is so much more than mercy, and it's so much more than just kindness. But it's actually giving two cents about these other souls that he has placed around you. The way he does for your soul. Amen? May his hesed and his praise be found in your life this week and every day thereafter. May his praise be found in you as you're walking along the highways, the byways, and the outermost places. And may he bless you each and every step along the way. Thank you so much, you guys, for your time. And may Hashem truly bless you. And again, wonderful job to the dance team last night at the fundraiser. Amazing, amazing job. I, I, Hashem was truly in that place. We thank you for your, uh, your heart for the king and the kingdom. That being said, a lot of programs at our synagogue will be starting again here very soon. So please uh, follow along on one of the social media things whether it's Facebook or uh, Instasnap or any of the other ones. Is that the right name for it? Instasnap, right? No. Spam channel, what's it called? I don't know. Anyway, and any of our social media things, you, you find information there. Please, please all rise. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who brings forth the fruit of the vine. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who brings forth the fruit of the trees. Amen. And the Hamotzi. Baruch Atarunai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Hamotzi Lechem in Haaretz. Amen. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who brings forth the bread from the earth. Amen. Amen. So yes, uh, those of you watching, as you're waiting for the final blessings, we, we will be announcing the uh, summer and fall schedule coming up. We'll be putting that out, as well as the, the website and other things will be getting reformatted here very soon. I'm not going to give you an exact date, because I don't want to do that to myself, but it will all be formulated here shortly.
With that being said, let's go ahead and get the, all the wonderful children so we can give them the blessing for the weekend. Isaiah, are those my sandals? I'm not wearing sandals! <laughs> okay. Isaiah. Michael, uh, you want to you wanna read a tenant in English today? Can I? Did you do it last time, right? Yeah. All right. Who's the next oldest? Wait, who's the next oldest? Me. Who's the next oldest? Hang on, yes, you can. Go to him. All right, here we go. So you know we're not shooting commercials, right? Who's the next one that gets it? Yeah, what? <laughs> right, who, second oldest? Who's the second oldest? The only person that's... Alright, come on. Okay, thank you. Alright. <laughs> 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 All right, let's gather all the young folks, all the young folks. Zeely, get over there under that chuppah, under that tallit. Let's go. Hey, you're still a young folk. May God make you like Ephraim and Manasseh. May God make you like Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah. May the Lord protect and defend you. May he always shield you from shame. May you come to be. In Israel a shining name, may you be like Ruth and like Esther, may you be as Ephraim and Manasseh, strengthen them, O Lord, and keep them from the stranger's ways. May God bless you. And grant you long life. The Lord fulfill our Sabbath prayer for you. May God make you good husbands and wives. He in his mercy, love, and care for you. May the Lord protect and defend The Lord protect and defend you. May the Lord preserve you from pain. Amen. <laughs> Can I get Isaiah, Gibbers, and Rafiki up here, please? I need those three guys. Those three guys. I, I need desperate help from those three guys. It's just a boy's. Come here, guys. Come here, guys. Where, where's the Let's go, Yuri. Rafiki, let's go. Right here. One, two, three, four, right? All right, here. Pay attention, guys. Gimmers, you're the oldest that's here, right? All right, you go first. Wait, I don't know. I don't know. Nine, nine. Oh, what's the number? 
All right, boys, y'all ready? All right, guys, 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 focus. We're going to pray now, okay? Yuri, over here. Pay attention. All right. I forgot how much fun it is having young boys. It's great. All right. And these are the words that Yeshua spoke over the Talmudim as he ascended into heaven. These are also the words that Moshe instructed Aharon and his sons to pronounce over the sons and the daughters of Israel. Ready, guys? Ready? The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. But I The Lord lift up his uh, consonants upon you. And give you peace. Amen. Peace. Shabbat shalom, people. Shabbat shalom. All right, good Shabbat shalom. There you go. Good job. All right. Okay. Well, this coming Monday, we will be feeding the homeless with the church under the bridge, uh, as we do each second Monday of the month. So those of you who have free time between 3 and 7, please feel free to get a hold of Rebetz and Iska, so that way we can schedule you with us, okay? So with that being said, all of you here have a beautiful and blessed rest of your Shabbos. If we don't see you at the end, then Shavuot Tov, have a blessed week, and may you walk in the praise and goodness of our Lord every day of your life. God bless you, thank you, and if you don't have a home kahila or congregation, you're welcome with us. With that being said, Philip, you ready? With that being said, good Shabbos and Shabbat Shalom, brothers and sisters.